Recently Deep Cool released a CPU tower cooler that definitely looks, and I usually say this, but this definitely looks different than our standard CPU tower coolers. It has a different design and quite interesting, I would say, covering the steel part of the heatsink. Today we're going to talk about Deep Cool AK620 CPU tower cooler with six heat pipes, two 120PWM fans and much, much more. So let's go. We have the socket compatibility with uh, Intel 2066 and all the others that go with the extreme uh, processors and as well 1200, uh, 1151, 1150 and AMD sockets as well. Uh, we have the weight of the CPU tower cooler uh, almost at kilo and a half. We have six heat pipes going from the cold plate through the heat, uh, heat sink with six millimeters of diameter. Uh, the, the fan dimensions are 120 and the thickness is 25 millimeters which have the fan speed from 500 to 1850 rpms the fan airflow is almost 69 cfm and the fan noise is less or equal to 28 decibels the fans have fluid dynamic bearing and the rated voltage is 12 vdc now as you can see the top part that covers the Aluminium heatsink is definitely uh, quite cool, quite subtle, I would say there's no RGB and I really like it just because of that, because it kind of brings something new to the table, very slick design, two fans, one is on the front and one is in the middle between two heatsinks, the middle one needs to be removed before placing it on the motherboard because you need to tie up the screws on the uh, plates which are on place uh, on the on the motherboard now here at the bottom you have two screws that you can access with the screwdriver that you get inside the accessory box so the accessory box what does it contain you have the back plate for the intel socket you have uh, plates for mounting the CPU tower cooler, locking nuts, standoffs and locking screws. Uh, we have the screwdriver, as I already said, uh, it has the exact distance that you need from the top to the screws at the bottom. You get a PWM splitter, so you don't have to use two PWM headers on your motherboard. You connect both fans to this splitter and only one PWM header to your motherboard. We get uh, instruction manual in this uh, sleeve box and you get thermal paste. Basically, very small amount of uh, CPU tower coolers actually come with pre-applied or even any come with pre-applied thermal paste. So we're going to check this one out, of course, with deep cool thermal paste. So the interesting thing that I see right from the start is the actual product. The design is completely something different, slick and more uh let's say looking with the new deep cool logo uh let's check out uh, the thermals placing a deep cool ak620 on your motherboard especially on your amd socket is quite straightforward you place the uh, locking nuts that have the back plate then you place the plates locking nuts and finally you place the cpu tower cooler and after that the middle fan since i already stated you need to remove it to tie up the screws for the cooler for the passive heatsink to the plates holding it on the motherboard so uh, i would say design is just perfect if you're looking something uh, uh, slick design stealthy i would say stealthy design uh, especially if you're going with an anti-rgb because you have a black top with nice slight uh, greenish uh, deep cool logo on both of the uh, passive heatsink covers and you have a nice black uh, fans which will definitely look outstanding in such a build but uh, here we go so we have 160 millimeter height you have clearance for your rams up to 43 millimeters if you decide to remove the front fan you can go up to 59 so this is something if you decide to go with high profile rams or some rams that have extravagant uh, R rgb uh, coloring but as you can see i have silicon power right here with rgb and they fit perfectly fine now the main thing, uh, I used uh, this CPU tower cooler to cool down the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G and uh, pairing it up with the GPU in the 64 Extreme Edition on full load, it went up to 65 Celsius degrees which is quite outstanding and I would say that that's quite a nice temperature for an air cooler on 5600G especially since you don't have any intake in this case I only uh, left the original front three 120mm fans and that's it if it was 
uh, with certain outtake I think it would uh, lower the temperatures down since the air wouldn't slightly accumulate here without any outtake but that's a different story for a different situation and different topic i'm definitely satisfied with the cooler uh, first of all the design it looks really nice something completely different there's no rgb and uh, a refreshing design from deep cool i would say uh, secondly the temperature quite nice it doesn't uh, speed up the fans and the noise isn't uh, getting louder if the temperature goes higher of course, if if the CPU reached 70 plus Celsius degrees, it might go depending on the motherboard and how the fan curve is uh, adjusted. That's another story. So yeah, satisfied with the cooler and I'll place the links uh, below for Deepcool AK620 so you can check out the prices. But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So in that case, hopefully I'll see you in another one. Bye bye.